one of the, the ways that meth works is that it stimulates your brain to release all of its dopamine at once. How does meth change our brain? When we use meth, it enters the bloodstream and travels to the reward center of the brain where it invades the sending neuron. Meth causes dopamine to unnaturally leak into the neuron, then spill into the synapse. Making matters worse, meth blocks the transporters, which recycle dopamine back into the sending neuron. This keeps levels abnormally high, overstimulating our brains. We feel a powerful wave of pleasure. The rush can last 8 to 12 hours from just one dose. This much dopamine makes us feel good. But meth overloads our brain. We can only take so much before we crash. You think a day is gone by and, you know, a week or two has gone by and then you just, your body just gives up on you. It was more of a blackout. It wasn't like a sleep. I didn't dream or anything, I was just out. I was asleep for days, I would hibernate for days at a time. Meth causes dopamine to flood our receptors. When we stay up, taking more and more meth, we exhaust our dopamine supply. The problem is, our brains can only produce a limited amount of dopamine at once. Eventually, we feel like we're running on empty. The party's over, and what we want is more meth. Unless I had meth, I couldn't get up the next day at all. If I slept for 10 hours, 12 hours, 16 hours, I couldn't get up. It's almost like a little panic. What's going on? Where's my dope? You know, where's my money? Where's my stuff? God, I feel awful. I need some dope. Oh, my God, I'm sick. I got to call my friend and see if I can find some dope because this is like just too much to bear. I can't stand it. So meth comes into the brain, revs up the engine, and runs it at 100 miles an hour for days using up our dopamine until our body runs out of gas and crashes. We need up to 10 days to refill our dopamine supply.